Now it's up to you. If anybody has any questions, please bring them to our speaker. Do not ask different questions, <laughs> difficult questions. So I should say there? I would say the microphone, if anybody has questions. So no questions? Oh, many questions. Yes, sir. Um, just to ask, um, I can't, it's, it's sad that the United States doesn't have the skill to engage with the people on the ground. Uh, but it's understandable, especially given our educational system. And, um, but the Afghan government doesn't seem to have much skill in engaging with the people on the ground. And they, uh, um, are they just because they're city people or they're, um, they're, they're not part of the culture anymore, they, perhaps? Or what, why are they so inept? Um, why are they so inept in terms yeah, of in, in, or, or so Unable. incapable, uh, incapable. Um, if they're Afghans they should understand what is needed are they just people not from the rural area they just don't understand thank you for the questions if I understood the, the, you mean the presence of the rural uh, people uh, why they are not capable in... In, in other words, the, the Taliban seems very good at engaging with the people in the rural areas. Yes. But the government, they're also Afghans. Yeah, of course. Why aren't they so poor at engaging with yeah. the people in the... Thank you for the questions. Uh, I should answer and then, or individually, yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, the, the Afghan government does not have prisons. In addition to NATO forces uh, presence in rural area, the Afghan government is very weak in bringing peace. I mean, during these 18 years of NATO forces prisons, they did not work too much. I, 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 I didn't aim that they didn't work. They worked, but uh, in a greater extent, they didn't work on fostering the, the capability of uh, Afghan government, specifically the national security forces as well as our Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Interior, so that they conquer that parts of the countries. Now the Afghan government does not have, for instance, in terms of guns, arms, uh, uh, devices, as well as other security capabilities, the Afghan government is unable to bring or to, to, to conquer places who are under the control of uh, Taliban. This is the problem of the government. And in this uh, instance, I a little bit uh, blame the NATO forces because the NATO forces uh, did not, uh, I mean, uh, did not structure their, uh, their, their, their policy due to their 18 years presence in Afghanistan so that they help the, the security forces of Afghanistan to to have a, a greater or broader influence in rural areas. This is the problem. So that's why Taliban has a greater influence in rural areas. They are illegally uh, uh, exploit, uh, extracting mines and, and forcing people to give them bread or, or other stuff's money. We have in Arabic a word, but I don't know in English, that they uh, tell them that please give us money so that we fight against the uh, uh, invaders, yeah, the presence of uh, NATO forces, specifically U.S., because they, they illegally invaded our countries and we have to push them back to their countries. So in, in such conditions, people should help them. I mean, when I say should, I, because they do not have any, any, any tool to protect themselves. And the government has already failed and the government is weak to, to have a... Uh, greater influence uh, or presence in rural areas. In 18 years, the, uh, uh, NATO hasn't figured it out. Yeah, in 18 years, they, they should, they are the, uh, it's based on the paper, Johnson, uh, a writer of American writer, he, he wrote about a book about this issue, and I have one reference. He, he said that the NATO forces, the, 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 the mystic that they did, that they did not understand the culture, the history, the language, and the background of Afghans tradition. So that's why they, when they deal with the government, they are in urban areas. They did not approach the indigenous people, the rural people, because based on 2018, 63 persons of the people living in rural areas, it's a huge amount of number. 
a huge number, sorry. So, but, but, but they not, do not int uh, integrate or, or get along with, with, with uh, rural people who are living in uh, suburbs outside the cities. That's the problem. I hope I, I could address the issue. Uh. Uh, I have one comment uh, in connection to this point, uh, and one question. Uh, after 1975, almost, or 1978, Afghan government, uh, like, it is derailed, right? There were uh, Soviet invasion in Afghanistan, and then Taliban came, and Mujahideen, and then, you know, still, uh, after 9-11, it was uh, 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 Afghan government, but it was not a truly established uh, government. Uh, even currently, uh, I have I don't have exact numbers, but more than 60 or 70 percent of Afghanistan, rural Afghanistan, is under control of Taliban. Uh, Afghan government and ISF forces, U.S. forces, they have access to only 10 to 15 percent, if I'm wrong, uh, of the total Afghanistan. The point is, uh, it is derailed, and Afghan government is not properly capable to deliver, you know, to mediate between the Taliban. In uh, uh, Afghan people and Taliban and the rest of the the international uh, governments and inter international powers. So this is one uh, reason why, because for almost four decades the government is out of track. There is literally no government. So that's why they are not uh, 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 properly delivering, you know, the services. And I have a question. Uh, I wrote an article uh, two weeks ago about this peace talks. Uh, uh, for my local newspaper in Pakistan. Uh, it is about Afghani perception about Pakistan's inclusion. So there are rural uh, major stakeholders of this peace talks. It's like Pakistan, uh, China, major powers, Pakistan, uh, Afghan government, Taliban, and U.S. So what Afghan peoples, what they think about Pakistan, like not Taliban, because the Afghan government... Uh, uh, had made allegations that Pakistan is backing Afghan Taliban. Yeah. So uh, thank you for the nice questions. Although we are from the same tribe, you are coming from Pakistan, I'm coming from Afghanistan. But, but um, objectively speaking, uh, unfortunately, the perceptions of Taliban, uh, uh, Pakistan within Afghans, due to the, the high influence of uh, uh, Afghan networks, I mean TVs, televisions, and other uh, social medias, are very bad. I mean, because Afghan government and the people have trusted so much times your previous presidents, prime ministers, and your government in bringing peace and security. But you can have a vital and important role in bringing peace because you are the main stakeholders. But it's a reality no one can uh, reject or deny that the, the Taliban's are having a, are being trained and have been trained in Pakistan by the CIA, um, by side, sorry, Inter, uh, intelligence, yeah, interintelligence system, of uh, service, sorry, in Pakistan, and they are sending, because we have the greatest, the biggest border between Afghans and, Taj and uh, Pakistan, 2,500 kilometers, and they are entering, they have the same clothes, as you see, the same tradition, and we cannot recognize them from other uh, ordinary people who are living in rural areas. They do not have tie and, and this this is stuff. Okay, uh, so uh, but the government is oh and now give one uh, is hoping to give once again a chance for the current prime minister who is coming from your tribe uh, to force Taliban or at least invite Taliban for uh, to to negotiating table with the Afghan government, which is backed by U.S. Yeah, they were already in Islamabad. The yeah. Taliban were for peace talks with Pakistan yeah. government after Trump uh, suspended talks yeah, here suspended. with Taliban. Do we have a last question? It isn't necessarily a question, maybe a sort of a comment. Um, you have uh, painted a very difficult picture of what the situation is over yeah. there with regard to and uh, you pointed out uh, uh, a few challenges, mm -hmm. and one of them is uh, that the Taliban, they are splitting. They, yeah, they have split into four. 
and um, also that the uh, Afghan government uh, is also divided. It has no power. So where do you think the dialogue should actually begin now? Is it with the splint, among the splinter groups, mm -hmm. so that um, you have entities mm -hmm. um, like then the Taliban and the Afghan government so that uh, the United States can effectively, effectively um, play any, any role whatsoever? I mean, I, I, uh, yes. Uh, I don't uh, I'm going to, so uh, as I said that we had uh, four branches now after the, this, uh, this of uh, the uh, leader of Taliban. So it was officially uh, released by, by different processing agencies. Uh, so two, during this uh, one years of negotiation, two influential branches of Taliban were negotiating with Taliban. Oh, wait, with US, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I can bring, I, I will show you. Yeah, two uh, important branches of Taliban were negotiating with the current US, uh, with the current uh, uh, US uh, diplomats. One was uh, Shurai Kweta, which I said the most influential one, and Shurai uh, Rasul, Shurai Rasul. But these two are, they are, uh, uh, division of, uh, I mean, the Taliban networks, anti-government networks, but they are not m very uh, influential or important when it comes to the peace dialogue. These two are discussing, they, they were discussing with Taliban. And if the peace negotiation uh, is going to be re resumed by uh, U.S. and Afghan Taliban, again, this shura and this shura Shurai Rasul are going to discuss again with, with, with the U.S. as well as Afghan government since they are the most important. And I think if these two agree on this uh, on many points, I think their presence, they would be uh, in, in a sort, in a way, they would be forced to, to come to negotiation because when four brothers are fighting against one, so two are coming and negotiating, reconciliating with, so the others will, will be encouraged by the positions that these two shuras are going to receive, by, by the benefits, for example, having free seats in parliament, ministries, and some provinces are going to be uh, dedicated to these two shuras. So others will also find their benefits and they are going to, be, to come. But one thing more I should say, I should add here, that shura of the north, they are mostly Uzbek people. Afghanistan have different ethnicities, Uzbek, located at the north, as I said, Shura of the north. They are uh, mainly functioning, and uh, they have a greater influence in Uzbekistan. Uh, Jumbisha Uzbekistan, Jumbisha Islami Uzbekistan, Islamic movement of Uzbek people in, uh, at the north. But these people are, uh, these two groups or Shuras uh, are very important, that's why they are negotiating. And we hope that such negotiations are going to be resumed by the U.S. backed Afghan government with Taliban, and uh, we hope to to have a peaceful government and uh, country in the future. I hope I could answer the, your questions. Thank you very much. Yes.